Hello there, wonderful humans. Welcome to the walkthrough of the second brain template. By the end of this video, you're going to understand all the different modules inside this template, some actionable steps on how to implement this and put it into your workspace, as well as seeing how I use power in my notion setup to organize my notes. Why do you want a second brain? Because your first brain is really great for creating stuff and coming up with new ideas. It's very generative, but it's not so good at remembering things. So having a second brain is like investing in your future self. It allows you to make your notes, your ideas, discoverable and actionable for you in the future. One way we can do that is by using one of Notion's advanced features called relational databases. This allows us to take different information from one database and reference it in another database. And I'll show you why that's super important in a second as we dive in. The backbone of the second brain is the PARA method developed by Tiago Forte. PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive, which you can see in here. If you're scrolling from the top, you'll see that there's some additional databases like this knowledge hub and also this notes section here. And I'll get into how they all relate. As we scroll down the page, you'll see there's the knowledge hub. The knowledge hub is a place for you to capture all of the stuff that you're seeing on the web, like articles, videos, blog posts, research papers, and keep it in one place. I really recommend using the Notion Web Clipper this allows you to have a Chrome extension where you can click and it imports the link into here and sometimes rips the content off of the page and puts it into Notion. If you wanna find more tools for capturing stuff from your Kindle and from different websites, then check out the capture strategies guide in the description. Moving on, actions, really simple, task management, it's linked here to two different things, projects and resources. As you can see, client two is here in this database. And so this is an example of where relational databases are helpful. Now I can see what actions are required in this project. Going back down to the projects module, there is three different views. The first one is by energy, which is something that I picked up from Mary Poulin, and basically not being super strict with the deadlines, I can move stuff around based on how much energy I'm giving them, and this is super helpful and flexible. I can show you how that looks like in my setup. Here we are in my workspace. As you can see that I've got this one extreme energy thing, which is to redesign my website. And then as I go down in intensity, there's a bunch of stuff which is idle, some low energy stuff and some medium energy stuff. Coming back to the template, you can also see the projects by traditional sort of Kanban view to do doing done, as well as your standard list view. Areas, projects are different to areas because they're areas of your life or your business which don't have end dates. They just keep going and you're gonna to have to keep looking at them. Things like personal finance and health isn't a project because you do it all the time. And the same goes for HR and recruitment or team management because you're always gonna be hiring or firing people. There might be the project in HR which is hire Jim or hire Steve. So projects fit inside areas. And because of that, you can actually create relationships from here to the related area. So say you're doing some work for client one, this might be related to marketing strategy as an area. I've broken areas into two different sections. The first one is personal areas. The second section is business areas. These are actually the same database but this is the original one, and this is a linked database, as you can see by the arrow here. If you wanna create a new area, you can use the template in here by clicking that or clicking the down arrow and selecting new area. Inside the new area template, there's a pretty nifty feature. This is a slightly more advanced Notion feature, 
but essentially what's going on is all of the stuff from Knowledge Hub, projects, resources, and notes is being filtered by the name of the new area. So if you were to use this template and call it, I don't know, badminton, then you would only see stuff in Knowledge Hub and projects which had created a relationship to badminton. Scrolling down, the resources section is where you keep all your PDFs and different Lego bricks, which you're going to be using in projects. Maybe you've created a business process, maybe you've created a wireframe for a website, or you've got a book summary template, and you want to keep that in resources so that you can use it again in a different project and recycle it or share it with friends. Here again, you can relate to what area that is, and if you're going to use it in a project, you can also choose what project you're going to use. Here you have the final A of Para Archive. This is generally where I move things instead of deleting them. Uh, you might want to harvest stuff from there eventually, and it's also really helpful for when you're moving from your old messy sidebar. So if you've just got loads of stuff that's down the side here, just move it into the archive section and then get used to moving stuff from the archive into resources or moving it into the areas section or moving it into projects. Here we have the final thing. If your knowledge hub was information coming from the web, then your notes section is information coming from you. So it's where I do most of my idea capture and I drop it in here and then I gen generally try to link to which area it's related to. So I've also left you a guide to progressive summarization, which is a method for making your notes more actionable. Just to give you more of a lowdown on what the area section looks like in my setup, here I have my personal areas. I keep a CRM of people here. I keep what I'm learning here, as well as all the books that I'm reading on a reading list. And then I also have this actual other tag, which is research areas. And this is stuff that I'm more broadly interested in and want to relate notes to. So if I'm taking notes in uh, social system and game theory, then I can look here and see all of the different stuff that's in the knowledge hub related to here, all the different stuff that's from resources related here and the notes. And this is where the relational databases become really powerful so that I can start to make new connections between notes. Moving over to the resources section, the same applies. I'm creating these Lego bricks that I can use in projects and further down the line and connecting them to what area that's in. So say I have some stuff, my YouTube thumbnail template is here to the content production. Um, I'm gonna be using that over and over again. I've also got canvases and also other templates for various things like fundraising and social media audit templates, all those things. So there you have it. In summary, stuff goes in the Knowledge Hub from the web. You take action on it and relate it to stuff. Your projects is by energy or by Kanban, and you can also select what area it's gonna be related to. Your areas might be personal, they might be business areas, and these don't have end dates. They are just ongoing areas that need your attention. Then the resources section is where you want to keep stuff that you're going to recycle and reuse in your projects like PDFs, checklists, templates, canvases. And then the archive is where stuff goes to die and for you to harvest later in the future. And your notes is more information coming from you into Notion so that you can start using them in your projects and relating them to different areas so that you can find them again. I hope this has been thorough enough for you. There's also a start here guide with some videos that might support you. If you need any more help, then reach out to me on Twitter and say hi, and don't forget to send me a screenshot of your second brain when it's all set up. I hope this was helpful and happy notioning.